Peggy 18. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley 1.4 here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host Max. In today's episode we will continue the last week of the summer season. Tomorrow, Willy will have his birthday. Willy is a really important NPC because besides the fact that he can supply you with bait and other stuff, He's also the only NPC who, if you befriend enough, will give you three recipes. All the other NPCs will give you two, except of the kids. They don't give you anything. Besides the added value to the spring onions. Anyhow, Willy does love octopus, catfish, sturgeon. He also does enjoy the... Mead? Iridium bar and lots of other stuff. So I'm gonna probably give him tomorrow's sturgeon because we have two full fish ponds. Now, if I have to be honest, this is my second attempt on recording this episode because today is a super lucky day. So what I wanna do is go into the skull cavern as fast as possible. So I'm not gonna screw around the farm for too long. I'm just gonna grab a few things and I'm gonna try to go into these cold caverns as fast as possible. So I wanna create one lucky lunch. I want to uh, grab all the explosives. I'm gonna replant some of the star fruit or melons which are ready to be harvested. I'm not gonna play around too much with the animals. I'm gonna also try to pick up that tea leaf. Maybe I'm gonna pick up the row. But uh, because it's raining, the animals are not even going to be outside. So since we have the auto collectors, especially in the two barns, I don't have to bother with milking the animals. So we should be able to save up some time. And this might be the last uh, theoretical lightning storm of this season. Ooh, Evelyn giving us cookies. Nice. Cookies are great. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna just try to do all this stuff and I'll talk to you once I'm ready because, uh, yeah, there's just not that much added value in me trying to talk about all these things besides the fact that we are still lacking behind production of some items and of course we're gonna have to make sure that we are up and running and that eventually I will be able to, like, supply myself with whatever I might require.
Okay, so most of the work here should be done now. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We still need one blue jazz. Let's pick this one. We're gonna grab the explosives. We're gonna move this. Uh, pa, pa, pa. Let's see, these things can be thrown in here for the unforeseen period. I'm gonna have to move them away eventually. Let's go make the lucky launch and let's get the heck out of here. Also, I'm gonna need to grab the Omni Geodes because what I want to do is actually see how much of a return will I get if I trade off my Omni Geodes for uh, the chests which can be purchased from the merchant at the Oasis. Uh, da -da, we don't require these things. So let's move stuff like this. Let's go into the Oasis. Now the whole thing about me trying to get the treasure chest is the fact that I still do not have all the damn scrolls with the dwarf, so I'm unable to understand him. And even when I give him a birthday gift which he loved, because I have the access to the wiki page, uh, we did not get any friendship points with him. So if we take a look at it, you can see that I gave him a gift, but nothing, absolutely nothing worth here. Uh, let's get the artifact troves. You require five of the um, Omni Geodes in order to obtain one. I'm really hoping that these will be worth something. We're gonna have to take them to Clint in order for him to crack them open. I'm really hoping we're gonna come across some of those things which I'm still missing. So let's eat the lucky launch and hopefully we're gonna get to at least like level 30. It took me a whole lot longer than I wanted it to, unfortunately. Yeah, really don't want to play around here for too damn long, especially with the serpent chewing me like a bubblegum. Not that much of a desire right now, to be perfectly honest, for a large stock of gold. I think we have enough of it as it is. I'm gonna drop the boots, we're gonna run down, we're gonna continue running, running. Really hoping I'm gonna come across the ladder here. I'm gonna kill some of these slimes in the hopes to get the slime for the oil press. But I don't want to play around too long with them. Hopefully I did not manage to pass the damn ladder or possibly shaft to a lower level. I'm taking way too much damage here because I'm trying to rush to see if we can either get to the center or come across a ladder or a shaft which might be already somewhere uncovered. Really I'm hoping that the, the lucky lunch not gonna have to actually like crack open every goddamn piece of rock here because it's gonna be annoying especially with the serpents and the big slime balls chasing after me so fingers crossed shaft beautiful let's eat two salmon berries in order to restore the HP to somewhat of a decent state uh, Bomb. I'm gonna use the Mega Bomb because we do not have rocks back at the farm and I actually will require a big amount of rocks in order to make the preserve jars on which I'm running still super low. And it's a ladder. Immediately I can consume even more. Salmon berries. Thankfully, I do carry a large amount of them. I want to break apart at least the big boy here, so that that's equal to like uh, ten pieces of rock. 
have some Omni Geodes here. And unfortunately, I had to trade the Omni Geodes with the merchant at the Oasis at the start because I'm not really sure if he's ever opened uh, around the time when I'm leaving the Skull Cavern. And I'm really hoping that Clint is gonna be able to get me something pretty damn decent out of those treasure troves. Come on, guys, work with me. Really need to find a ladder or a shaft. Now the reason this is a second attempt is that I came across a Pepper Rex level and I decided to stick around and to my surprise I actually did manage to get, believe it or not, two dinosaur eggs in one level. Unfortunately then all of a sudden like four iridium bats flew in on me from all sorts of directions and uh, I dodged the original three who attacked me but the fourth one got to me and it just killed me and I really hate it especially since I found out that the majority of the items which I lost were like 400 rocks or something I was already like at level 30 or so so that is why I decided to redo the recording, so I hope you do kind of uh, understand that I'm trying to squeeze in as much stuff as I can, and I do realize that it's not really fair for me to kind of uh, try to do this type of thing, or bypass the damage or cheese the game if we might call it that. But uh, then again, I kind of do have still massive, massive plans for the game and for the farm. And the Four Corners map is starting to become one of my favorites, so it probably explains to you why I'm always trying to talk too fast or do god knows how many things in one episode at a time. I mean, after all, I'm trying to make this all entertaining for you and also entertaining for me, which sometimes might happen. But there's like 200 cutscenes from Emily or someone who's really trying really hard to be our friends. Okay, this looks like an Iridium. We are already at level 34. Wow, okay, I'm actually impressed. I'm gonna blow up all of this here so that we can grab all this stuff. There's a prismatic shard there. I still want to grab all of these resources. I really am hoping I'm not gonna be relying too much on stuff like staircases to get me out of certain levels but then again who knows what I might come across let's pop on salmonberry also I'm gonna try to preserve as much iron as I can for purposes of making the uh, kegs because we will need the iron bars and the uh, copper bars in order to make them. The oak uh, resin production is uh, holding steadily. Uh, it's gonna take me a few more batches of harvest to of course get what I'm looking for, but I'm not really sure how far away is the 1.4 update and how many changes will be introduced into the game with that. And if it's gonna be worth uh, starting like a brand new season for the channel for Stonky Valley, I'm not really sure, haven't personally looked that much into it, been kind of crazy busy here lately, I mean trying to post 10 episodes a week and stuff like that, so that usually takes up quite a lot of my time, besides I have other stuff like actual work. So, yeah, un unless you want me to make this into a full-time thing, which I would actually love, to be perfectly honest. Uh, yeah, it it's gonna take a bit longer, so I hope you are gonna bear with me until I'm able to provide you with some more fun content. Okay, let's jump in. I'll probably have to eat... Yeah, probably not right now. I was thinking I might have to eat a salmon berry. I want to grab at least the iron. And what, let's grab the copper too. We have been burning through it quite a lot lately. Well, it's not that much of an issue for me, to be perfectly honest, because I just can go to see Clint 
and purchased that from him without any issue. Plus, um, I am sitting on a stupid amount of star fruit, which I was able to uh, grow during the summer season. I think we still are uh, waiting for like one more batch, maybe, or it's, it's just maybe already in or whatever's growing inside of the greenhouse. But I think I have over like 200 or something star fruit uh, stored away in the big shed, the first one which I ever constructed. So overall, uh, turning it into the star fruit wine will just so greatly increase its selling price so that whatever big project I might plan to do, it should be doable thanks to me selling those resources. Okay, a lot of stuff here, even Iridium, we are at level 45, surprisingly enough we are clearing the Skull Cavern rather quickly, which I cannot complain about too much. Why don't you come closer to these rocks so that I can kill you here and get Solar Essence out of you for a potential Mega Bomb. I can also clear out some of these rocks, why not? There's plenty of mummies here, but I'm really hoping I won't have to bother with all of them. Or probably I might have to. I still have one explosive, so theoretically if I were to get all four of these guys one place, that is if they will understand what I'm trying to do here, it might be four pieces of solar essence, or even more, I'm not really sure if there were five of them. Okay, that's a lot of solar sense with void sense from all the serpents and the gold which I was able to pick up. I'm really hoping that I'm going to be able to turn those into some of those mega bombs. I'll probably hold on to some of the solar essence just to be on the safe side. Let's crack open at least these things. There's even Iridium here. The slimes are so far ignoring me, so let's grab at least this. And let's see, Mega Bomb. You know what, let's drop it here. Because I'm gonna grab whatever resources are here. We do require a stupid amount of rocks. And I still wanna make more of the fish ponds. Even more structures and uh, preserve jars also do require me to build with stone. Okay, let's drop Mega Bomb over here. Buffy has worn off. Still have the effect of the Lucky Lunch, which is the only reason why I believe we are this deep. At this speed, I mean, it's gonna be midnight soon, so... Yeah, I did spend a stupid amount of time around the farm, but... The bigger it gets, the more difficult it is for you to just say goodbye to whatever you have going on there. And just, like, leave. Especially if, let's say, you are lacking certain things. Okay, this is an interesting level. I should have probably kept that explosive for, like killing the mummies, but the high concentration of everything that was on one place did not really see that much of a value in that. Gonna at least recover some of the gold which I have spent while making. Really don't need the Templar's Blade right now. Or Tempered Broadsword or whatever's the name of the weapon. Let's try to run, 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 run. Ooh, there's coal, there's coal, there's coal. That's great. I'm gonna grab the coal, we're gonna take the ladder. Hopefully the serpent will not catch up to me. It's 12.20. Did not even check if this is potentially a iridium crab. Kind of trying to squeeze in as much more mining as I can. We are sitting on 337 rocks, which is not best, especially since I consider that I think a preserved jar requires like 30 of 
or 40 even. Yeah, so if I want to make like even 10 of them, I'm, I'm gonna definitely require more stone, which sucks. 1 p.m. Really gonna have to run away. Let's take a look at what's at level 65. Okay, I don't see that many interesting things, so I'm just gonna deport. You can theoretically still take a look at the merchant here. Might get a few more things out of you. Hope I won't regret this. I can grab two more of these. And I can grab one more spicy eel. Now we have two. Really don't want triple shot espresso, and I am holding on to the iridium. Sorry. It's good to know that at least the uh, newly added merchant in the oasis is opened until like probably or probably is open 24/7 or something. There is the pine tar. There are some spice berries. Some sweet pea, but I think if I hold on to what I have right now, it's gonna be better. Uh, really don't plan on selling the prismatic short. I'm gonna separate the rest of the stuff which I picked up on the next day when we will go see Willy. Wish him happy birthday. Also, we have reached level 9 in combat, and I should be able to craft the Arabian Band, which is quite a useful thing. Most of the money came from the Pale Ale. We can continue into the next day. So we need to make sure to give Willy his birthday gift. I'm gonna give him a sturgeon because, as I said, we have two fish ponds full of them. Um, today I'm not really sure if I'm gonna go into the mines. I will definitely make sure that Clint will crack open those treasure chests. And also it's super unlucky day, so this would be really ineffective use of a day in the Skull Caverns, or any of the other mines. Let's see what's in the mail. Uh, hello, sorry, I'm not good on at writing letters. I made one metal bar too many and I thought you might need it, Clint, the blacksmith. Thank you, buddy. Okay, so I'm just gonna do what is required of me here around the farm. And I'll talk to you once that has been taken care of. In the meantime, enjoy the tune!
Okay, uh, I cannot just spend the whole episode just not saying anything, I mean... That would be just way too much fun probably for most of you. Enjoying the soundtrack and not listening to the mad rambling of what I want to say. So I hope you did enjoy the tune at least. Still have a lot of crops to be harvested here. Not really sure if we're gonna get one more harvest of blueberries. It would be actually really awesome. I'm definitely gonna have to harvest all the wheat and I'm gonna replant it. And the next batch will be left uh, until the fall season to reach the full maturity because I'm not sure if the effects of the deluxe speed grow do disappear when the seasons change and I'm really hoping that by carrying over the uh am I really again everything is full we did not even pick up that many things okay So, we have a lot of stuff. Just gonna probably go and make a stupid amount of blueberry jello for now. The remaining blueberries will be sold. We can keep some of the tomatoes. We can keep some of the hot peppers for hot pepper jelly. Still have lots of stuff to move around. Still lots of stuff to harvest, still have to deal with all of the wheat, I need to pick up my items, I need to give a gift to Willy, I need to go see Clint, and this day will run super fast. Let's grab the rocks, at least I'm gonna be able to see how many 358 that that won't do that much for me I'm gonna leave probably the trees alone for one more day pick up the tea okay so what I require is the scythe in order to harvest all of the wheat Can I drop off anything else in here? No, the cactus fruits... Coconuts, those will be left here. This can go here. Still a whole lot of these things. We have stupid amount of coffee, so I'm not really afraid that much about the winter right now, or even the fall season. Should be able to hold on to or until the spring where I will be able to grow another batch of coffee. Okay, uh, I need the fishing rod in order to fish out the sturgeon for Willy. Let's just go ahead and sell all that I do not currently require. Drop off all of these resources. Magnetic shards. We have four if I recall correctly. I need to move these things around too. Okay, let's grab the wheat seeds, actually require those. I managed to get my uh, gear. No, of course not. Now this is done. This has been moved around. Cookie can be theoretically given to like, for example, Vincent. But if I run into 
Uh, the kids, I can just buy uh, ice cream and just give them that. They also enjoy that too. Uh, since we're gonna see Clint, how about I grab actually the geodes? Might crack those open too. I do wonder what's gonna be the price on cracking open one of these. Let's drop off you, you, and... Need to reorganize yet again. Like so. We don't need to hold on to the spicy eel right now. Possible, let's drop off these two things. T can be dropped off too. And let's first deal with this. So like I said, the benefit of doing the this with the wheat instead of the radishes is the radishes would not be still mature. And also I'm getting both the hay and the, the wheat for double the use. So I have the feed for my animals and I have something to be turned into a uh, beer. So once we run out of the hops, because I was really hoping we we're gonna get a whole lot more of them. I'm gonna be able to uh, make a whole lot of beer, which should still make me a better friend to Pam and Shane, hopefully. I know that Pam's daughter does not like it when she gets beer, but uh, what the heck. She keeps driving us to the oasis, so it's the least I can do, right? Let's drop off the tea leaf. It's already 12.20, and I have not even seen my animals yet. You see, th this is exactly what I'm, like, talking about. It it's, it's, it's taking so much more time now to do just about anything. Need to pop another triple shot. I need to also move it somewhere, like, here. Hello. We're getting some row here. Let's fish out one of these surgeons. And I'm gonna deal with the animals at the end of the day. I really want to make sure that I manage to get to see Willy and I manage to get to see Clint. I'm really hoping we're gonna come across those items that I'm hoping for, so especially the damn uh, dwarf scrolls, or something which can be deposited into the museum itself. Wrong shed. I should have also dropped off the hay, but hey, we're gonna see the animals eventually, so we still have some time. It's only 1.30, I feel like I haven't done that much. And I'm gonna probably hold on on uh, foraging all of this stuff later on. Let's go see Clint now. Let's process the geodes. Beautiful, starting off strong. Keep it up, buddy. Despite the fact that it's a super unlucky day, this is definitely a great help. At least I don't have to be purchasing more coal from him right now. Kind of afraid most of my money will go anyhow to Robin for the resources. I have unfortunately demolished the cinder sap forest for wood, so yeah, I'm not really sure what to expect. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Please give me some dwarf, dwarf scrolls, man. Darn it. We need scrolls. Not the helmets. I have the helmets. I think most of these items have been already deposited anyhow. So I'm gonna have to probably run off back home, sell them, and then go see Willy. 
because I still want to purchase from him. Bait so that we can keep on restocking the crab pot. And I should theoretically think of. Uh... Ooh, okay, I have not dropped off a lot of stuff. Looks like Tammy here has new work. We're still missing two dwarf scrolls. That's a lot of rewards. I still did not even collect my bear statue. Wow, what is wrong with me? Okay, well, at least I'm getting two scarecrows. And unfortunately, my inventory is completely full. I don't have anything for the kids right now, and I don't even have the room to purchase the ice cream. Dwarf scroll 1 and 3, so we are missing 2 and 4. Awesome. Yeah, the ice cream stand is not even... Yeah, darn it. Okay, let's go see Willy. Uh, I have some free slot in my inventory, so I might be able to purchase at least the bait. That is, if he is at the shop. Just make sure we give him the correct birthday gift. And I kind of did not manage to pay attention, but... Now that we are at 9 heart points with Willy, we're gonna get the final recipe from him, uh, thanks to the fact that we are friends now. Uh, please, I hope we are. Let's grab like around 200 or 300 so that we don't have to stop by for these for a while. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to most likely come back to the beach in order to pick up whatever I can from the crab pods and from the beach too. It really sucks that I was unable to grab ice cream for Penny and the kids. It would definitely help me out a lot. Don't think I really need to see Pierre regarding anything as of now. This is just really bad. I do wonder what Alex is up to. Can I donate? Yeah, no. Let's go sell all these artifacts. We're gonna then have to pick up a whole lot of stuff. So let's see, we can sell you, 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 you. Some of these things are unfortunately not as valuable. The drum block, I never tend to use this thing. Uh, bricks, big site, almost read it Brexit. What is wrong with me? Good question. Oh man, we should be smelting some more iron and more copper. So I think I have 12. So 30, 30 should be equal to the 12 pieces that I do require. Or the uh, number of smelters that I do possess. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do I want to drop off? You, I definitely want to drop off. These decorations can go inside of the home, I don't really mind. Two rare crows for now, I don't have a use for, which is bad. I still can't expand the farming, of course, even further. Drop off whatever coffee was left, nothing is left. Okay, so where do we want to put what? The big teddy bear can go into here. Uh, skeleton can go next. Can put the chair somewhere like here. Crystal somewhere around here. 
I know my interior design decorative skills are horrible, but I'm a guy at the end of the day. So, yeah. Drop off these two. Don't really need them. Bow will be used up. This will be dropped off by the animals. Let's go take a look at what's the yield when it comes to... What? Let's actually run around holding the hay. This way I don't get the bubble for interaction with the animals. Let's pick up everything. See if the dinosaur has finally incubated itself. I'm gonna pick up a lot of stuff here. Lots of batteries. Good to know, good to know. And let's load up silo. We have 321 pieces out of 480. Lots of eggs. Animals are starting to go inside. It's gonna be till 8 p.m. till they actually fall asleep. But hey, if they want to go in... There's nothing wrong with that. And let's load in all of these. I really do hope that we're gonna get that dino scene. Need to pick up all of this stuff. I'm really thinking I might be moving the smelters or the furnaces away from the battery. Or the lightning rods. So this should allow me to grab more kegs. Ooh, looks like we have a mix seed here. Nice. Okay, we still have to, however, pick up all the milk. There's a whole lot of it. It's actually great. Uh, soon we will be surpassing our production of mayonnaise and everything else. They're already trying to sleep. I really need to restock their food. This is the last. Uh, Animal home. Please stop. Which needs the upgrade in order for me to not bother with feeding them because it rained on the last day. That's why all the food is gone. All the mumus are dealt with, so we are okay. Look at this. Seven pieces of large iridium milk. <laughs> We have gone a long way from the original stages of having only few animals. Which is great. 22 battery packs is amazing. Okay, so we still have time to pick up everything from the crab pots. I'm gonna have to come up with some way to freaking deal with the fact that I still do not possess all the dwarf scrolls, which is really, really annoying. I need to cut down this in order for it to not destroy the wheat field. That would be just unfortunate. I need to pick up whatever is in the mushroom cave. I'm not really sure if I even... Yeah, I definitely did not pick up uh, the mushrooms on the previous day. Oh, at least we have two chanterelles. They are worth a nice penny. Yeah, penny is also nice, but uh, not, not the penny I'm referring to. Okay, so let's sell whatever I can here. And that will be it for this episode. If you did like it, please consider giving it a like. It helps me a lot. If you have any feedback for me, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. I do actually read the comments. Some of the content here was even featured thanks to the comments from the viewers. 
If you like what I do here, consider subscribing. I publish content on a weekly basis, so you will have always something interesting to watch. I do mostly playthroughs, I have some discussion videos, I have early in-game reviews, I have tips and tricks, so go check out the channel, link will be in the description too, and hopefully I will see you in the comments or at the next one. Thank you for watching, have a pleasant rest of the day, and bye-bye.